Hey, how are you guys? I want to show you one quick tip. If you have the latest version of Photoshop, this is an easy way to clear the skin of a person, like the skin in this photo that I have opened. If I zoom, you can see, especially if it's in a higher resolution, you can see that there are some problematic areas. So the first and most important thing is to remove the blemishes spot healing brush tool, which is right here. You want to work non-destructively. So I'm going to make a duplicate of this layer, Command J or Control G, and uh, just click at the areas which could be easily removed by this tool. Just be careful not to delete any birthmarks. Yeah, maybe this will be enough. So after we have done this, I'm going to make this a smart object, a right button convert to smart object. This one works only if you have the latest version or one of the latest versions of Photoshop. You just have to go to filter, choose camera row filter, and from here, go to basic texture and move this to the left. This is working pretty good with skin pores and problematic areas. This is before and this is after. If you want to dig deeper, let's go to the menu masks. Wait a few seconds, Photoshop is going to automatically detect persons in this photo. And when you click on this button, you can choose which part of the, the face you want to make a mask. Click face skin, body skin, eyebrows, iris and pupil, lips, hair. After we have selected all these separate elements and click create, if I select, for example, face skin, I can do the same from here. I just need to find the texture slider, which is here. If you don't want to see the, the red overlay, click here and let's move this to the left. I'm going to zoom. This is a very good result. It doesn't make the skin washed out unnatural. It just gives you opportunity to work in detail. As you know, the camera always something like a separate application inside Photoshop. Let's say this, this is okay. From here, you can see before, after, this is a non-destructive way of manipulating because we converted our duplicate layer to a smart object. And now everything we apply as a filter is going to be a smart filter. You can turn it on and off at every point of your process. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you want to see the old school way of smoothing skin with the uh, inverted high pass filter be sure to check it in the channel and stay tuned for more peace